Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that a lot of you have been asking me for, and that is a how I do my liquid cat eye eyeliner up on my top lid here. Um, a lot of people, every time they watch like my makeup looks or they watch my videos in general, they always ask for a video on how I do it. So I figured I would go ahead and make kind of like an in-depth video on how I do my liquid eyeliner. Before I do that, I just want to um, kind of introduce you guys to different types of eyeliner because there isn't just liquid or there isn't just cream. There are many different types. And I pulled out as many that um, I could find in my drawer to show you guys just kind of like the difference. So obviously the very first one and the one that I am going to be using in this video today because it is my favorite and that is just a plain liquid eyeliner. There are many, many brands of this. For instance, my all-time favorite one that I have ever used is by e.l.f. This is $1 at the grocery store or online or wherever you can find e.l.f. And it is my all-time favorite. I love using liquid eyeliner. Me personally, I feel like it's a lot easier to work with and I also feel like that if you do mess up it is a lot easier to fix as well. The other type of eyeliner that you could use for a cat eye is just a plain black eyeliner pencil. Any black or any color pencil should work for this. This will give you more of a smoky looking effect to your eyeliner so if you are someone who likes to go for that look and like something a little bit more on the subtle side I would go with just a regular plain old black pencil eyeliner. The next two type of eyeliners that I have are the eyeliner liquid sticks which I do like these and I do own a couple of these, but they are not my favorite just because I'm not very good at them. These do take a little bit more practice because it is a bulkier packaging and the brush on it, which I will go ahead and show you right here. As you can see, the brush on it is a lot more thick and it just takes a lot of practice to get into like to the inner corners and to make sure they're even and the lines are sharp. But this is another really good option. I have a cheaper one by BH Cosmetics here and then I also have this one by Sephora. This one, which you're probably looking at it and wondering why it is shaped funny, this is supposed to make it easier for your hand to sit on it and to give you better control of the eyeliner. And then the other type of eyeliner that I like to use on occasions are cream eyeliners. Cream eyeliners are, depending on the brand, can be very affordable or very expensive. These two that I have here are very, very affordable. I have this cream eyeliner by e.l.f., which is, I think, maybe $1 to $3, I believe. And then I also have this one by Wet n Wild, which you guys saw in my drugstore makeup haul, which this also came with a little brush as well. So basically what a cream eyeliner is, is it's like a packed in liquid eyeliner that is more on the creamy side, therefore a cream eyeliner. And then usually you can use like a liner brush or eye brush or sometimes it will even come with one like this one for instance. And you can get as much product as you want out and draw on the line with the brush. This is probably my second favorite way to do my cat eye if I ever do one. So these are also a really great option as well. These both can be found at the drugstore or online wherever you find it easiest to purchase these. So yeah, that is all of the eyeliners that I wanted to share with you guys and show you on this video today. Just so you can kind of know that there isn't just one set way of doing cat eye. There are many, many different ways. Some people even just like to use black eyeshadow as well. So it just all depends on what you like to use. So for this specific video, I'm going to just stick, like I said, with just the liquid eyeliners because that is my favorite. Now the number one trick that I like to use when I do my cat eye is one that I saw on YouTube years ago and even to this day. I do still use it. A lot of people watch my makeup looks and they will see me do what I'm about to show you and they're like, wow, that's genius, blah, 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 like that. I wish I would have thought of that. Um, I didn't come up with this technique, but it is a really good one. And that is just plain old scotch tape. Scotch tape, you're probably wondering what, what does that have to do with makeup? I don't understand. Basically, all I do is I just take out a good amount like this right here and then I will put it, put it on the back of my hands like this just to get rid of the first sticky layer. And then I simply just put it on the outer part of my eye. I will just do this eye for a demonstration for you. And then I just pack it down to make sure that it's nice and stuck on there. And that's what it looks like. It looks a little bit silly, but trust me when I say this is going to be your best friend, especially if you're a beginner or someone you've been doing makeup for a long time. This piece of tape right here will guarantee a nice straight crisp edge when you do your eyeliner or eyeshadow. I use it for eyeliner and eyeshadow. Depending on how much time I have, I either will or will not use the tape. It just kind of all depends. And then I just do the exact same thing 
on the other side as well. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your eyeliner ready. This one is the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in the color black. And basically all I like to do is just make sure I'm getting enough product on it. And then the brush looks like this. So this should be more than enough product to get you started. And then you're gonna want a mirror, and this will take, you know, obviously practice and patience because you're not gonna be good at it the first time you do it, obviously. So where I like to start is I like to start at the very middle of my eye, and I like to get as down close to the lash line as possible just to kind of create a feel for the liquid eyeliner and how much product I have on the brush. And then what I will do is I will bring it into the inner corner like this and just very, very lightly make little strokes until I see the thickness that I want my eyeliner to be. So here is where I will basically stop and then I will go from here. So I start in the very middle, go to the very, very inside, create the thickness that I want, and then comes time to do the outer part. Now when I do this, I do like to take a little bit more product onto my liquid eyeliner brush. Just make sure you're not doing too much because too much is harder to remove. So just make sure you're getting the right amount. And after you do this a few times, you will kind of get a feel of how much works for you. And then again, what I do from here is I drag it, sorry, I drag it out onto the tape like that. And then what I will do is I will take the brush from the very end and pull back into the inside of the eye. So it looks like that. As you can see, you can make it as long or as dramatic as you want, especially if you have the tape there. It gives you a lot of leeway to make mistakes and a lot of leeway to make it as long and as thick as you want it. So there is what that eye looks like right there, and that looks pretty good to me. So what I do from here after I finish this eye is I like to remove the tape right away, which for that I just pull upward like this, and then it will reveal your um, cat eye right there. And as you can see, sometimes when you do have the tape, it does leave a little bit of imperfections, but this is very, very easy to fix, and I will show you how I do that as well. But before I do fix these mistakes, I'm gonna do this eye really quick. That way, all the mistakes can be fixed at once, and I can just focus on making them even. So again, go over to this eye. I get the product that I want on my liquid eyeliner brush, wipe off any excess that I don't need, and then again, I start at the base of my eyelash, all the way to the inner corner. And then make a line out the back, and then I just connect it. Now, as you can see, this one is already a little bit thicker than this one. So in order to fix that, what I do is I'll just take a little bit more on the outside of this tape area here. And then I just keep building it up until they look as even as possible. Okay, so after you think you have them about even and you're feeling pretty confident, you can go ahead and lightly remove the tape in an upward motion, and then it will reveal both eyes. Now, this eye looks to be more of a point than this one, and you know, guys, I'm not a professional makeup artist, so it is not ever going to be absolutely perfect. Liquid eyeliner is a skill that takes years of practice and patience and learning. So, I mean, I am still learning and I am still experimenting, but you know, you just gotta do the best you can. And another good thing is that it's makeup, it wipes off, and you can just keep trying and keep going. So what I do from here, which is a little bit risky, is I'm gonna take this one into a more of a dramatic point so it matches this eye more. So just very, very carefully. Now how I go in and I fix any little imperfections or mistakes is I use Q-tips. Q-tips will be your best friend when you do makeup. I promise you they are so, so amazing and so helpful. And all I do for this is I'll just take the Q-tip and I will roll underneath the eyeliner to remove any sort of smudging or damage that happened if we removed the tape. Okay guys, so that is everything that I do for my liquid eyeliner routine. I did just go off camera and finish the rest of my makeup for the day because I have to go to work soon. But I really wanted to film this for you guys because you guys have been waiting so patiently for it and I wanna thank you so much for bearing with me as I work a job and do YouTube. So thank you for waiting for this video. I really hope it was helpful and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. With time, 
time and with patience and practice you will get better at it if you're someone who you know doesn't do liquid eyeliner that often or you really want to get into makeup just take it easy practice you know watch tutorials on YouTube that's what helped me the most and you will get it down before you know it. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give a huge thumbs up and don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel. If you have any video requests for me, I would greatly appreciate if you left those down in the comments for me. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys.